Hi again guys, so uh, another Gran Turismo 6 tuning video for you today and uh, first off I've got to give a shout out to uh, British33dog <laughs> as requested and uh, this tune setup was actually requested by him, it's for the Ferrari FXX as you know because you clicked on the video um, so let's get straight into it, car settings uh, any of you who have watched my videos before will know a certain few things always fit racing soft tyres is one of them uh, as far as suspension, this car's already got pretty good handling, it's pretty stable. I've got the ride height on 80. I've stiffened up the springs slightly because it, it did bounce around a little bit on acceleration when changing gear. Uh, I've stiffened up the anti-roll bars to 4, put the camber angle on 0.5. As always, put the toe angle neutral so it's not dragging its tyres. Uh, as far as the drivetrain, obviously auto setting as high as possible. And you want your final drive gear on 3.3. Excuse me. Uh, for your diff, you want your initial torque as low as possible because obviously it's got a lot of power and you don't want to waste it by wheel spinning. Acceleration as high as possible, braking as low as possible. Do everything power wise. I've fitted the NOS, obviously, you don't have to, but I have. Unfortunately on this car you can't adjust the downforce, which is a shame, because obviously downforce is working against its top speed. But anyway, uh, traction control is off, as always, and uh, let's see what it can do. Now, uh, this tune setup that I've got on this car, as you can see, I'm still in fifth gear at this point, and uh, nowhere near sixth gear yet. And this car, I found this car slightly more awkward to tune, mainly because of the fact that this is completely unrealistic on Gran Turismo 6. And the reality is that this car could never go this fast because it just doesn't have the aerodynamics. Um, or in fact it does, actually, it has the opposite. It has too much aerodynamics um, pushing it into the ground, too much downforce. But uh, as you can see, it's, it's pretty quick. I mean, not as quick as I'd like it to be for an 1100 horsepower car, but it cruises at 285 in fifth gear. Um, it's got good handling on the curve, like I already said. Hit the NOS and it'll go up to the 300 mile per hour region. Uh, I'm not sure exactly when it changes into sixth gear, actually. I know that uh, you only want to use your sixth gear when you're in slipstream. Because as you can see, I'm, I'm in sixth with the NOS on and it's only doing 298. It's just maintaining 298. So you don't really want to use sixth gear unless you're slipstreaming someone. Um, so I would probably recommend driving this car with a manual gearbox to be honest. So there you go, a 285 mile per hour Ferrari. So hope this helps and as always, thanks for watching.